Voters in Chicago are gearing up to cast their ballots in this year's heated primary race for mayor. Nine candidates are on the ballot this year, including incumbent Lori Lightfoot. All the candidates aim to lead a city hit hard by crime and inflation in recent years. NBC News correspondent Marissa Parra joins us now from Hyde Park in Chicago with more. Marissa, good morning. So let's start with the candidates. You got the incumbent Lori Lightfoot facing tough competition in a race that's likely going to head into a runoff. So who are her biggest opponents and how tough could re-election be? Yeah, I mean, when we talk about what we're expecting from today, I think something that's just so notable is that there is not a sense of confidence as to whether or not we will see Lori Lightfoot reelected. And that could be in several ways, right? I mean, there's not even a sense of confidence in terms of whether she would make that runoff race that would happen in April 4th, just over a month from now. So when we talk about her biggest competition right now, obviously, Joe, we know that polls in general are never a guarantee of anything. But polling does show that her steepest competition is coming from the former Chicago Public Schools CEO, Paul Vallis. And then there's a very tight race in terms of the polling for second place. And so we're looking at um, there's Lori Lightfoot right now is kind of neck and neck with two other candidates. But you mentioned it yourself. There's a large field here right now. Incumbent Mayor Lori Lightfoot competing with eight other challengers. So, Joe, I think that in terms of what we can and predict. The only prediction that I'm willing to make is that we probably will not know any results by 7 p.m. simply because we know that early voting turnout nearly triple what it has been in past two municipal elections. We know that mail-in voting also record numbers here, Joe. All right, so those are the candidates. What are the issues that voters are most concerned about? And are there things that the rest of the country might learn from this election? Yeah, I mean, we can talk about the fact that crime has been consistently the number one thing that voters in Chicago talk about that they care about. And this is something that we're seeing across the city. And then also something that certain candidates have been very, very intentional in terms of their messaging. And I think that in terms of um, what we're seeing in terms of platform and policy, while crime might be something that they're all addressing, it's the philosophy in terms of how they're addressing crime, where, of course, they differ in the road split, if you will, whether or not they're looking for short term solutions or whether or not they're looking at uh, whether they should be staffing police officers or whether they are thinking that tackling crime looks more holistically building the community on the other side. And Joe. on the issue of crime, we know Chicagoans are also electing police district council members. What more can you tell us about that? Yeah, so we have 66 positions up for grabs. This is something that advocacy groups have been pushing for. We know that this is something that's been part of the conversation on a national level. We're seeing that here in Chicago for the first time. 22 Chicago police districts will now see community members who will be able to weigh in on things like police budget. They will be able to weigh in and review items. Uh, when it comes to controversial topics, we're talking about Chicago police Police uh, here in Chicago. This has been something that has been part of the discussion for a long time. But I think, um, in terms of who people are voting for, when I've just talked to people on the ground here, I will say that a lot of them don't really know who they're voting for and they're not really sure how this is going to turn out. So I think collectively, we're all eager to see how that does play out, not just today with how the election day goes, but in the coming years. Joe? All right, Marissa Parra in Chicago. Thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.